Well, here's something you don't see every day. Diamond Rio drill rig. It's going to be, going to be pounding some pipes in here in a couple of days. everyone welcome back to my railroad today we're going to get into the uh, trailer that you see here behind me I can take a picture off of this now yeah. smile, yeah, smile. <laughs> okay. okay you gonna watch him run train for a bit yeah sure the okay. Yeah. I don't have to be home until 2 o'clock. We finally got everything finished. We are getting everything loaded back into the trailer and lashed. Hopefully lashed easily, but we will see. All right, let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is get this trailer back into a position where we can load and unload it. That looks good. Next, we need to unload a few things so we can have room to get everything else in. Now we can put in those modules that were reworked back into the rack, correct rack. And while that's going on, now we can put in the power cart and the tool chest. And then we'll have a look-see inside. Okay, now that the uh, two carts are back in place, all the way at the forward end, we secure those in with bungee cords. And next we have our storage rack for all the smaller items. Then as a space filler, we have our tool chest. And all of this is held in place with bungee cords. Now, to secure the racks in place, we have to use a little better strapping because each rack weighs around 1,100 pounds. So, we use a strap at the top of the rack, pulling it all the way to the side of the container where friction will keep it from moving fore and aft. And at the base, we cross lash two lashings to keep it from moving forward or aft and to hold it in place where it sits. Next, rack number two is moved into position and lashed in a similar manner as to the way number one was lashed. Next, rack number three is moved into position. Unfortunately, the lashing points are not very good for this position. So we lashed it as best as possible. And of course, you can see that we are using chafing gear around any sharp corner or an object that could cause the straps to fray. And our next and almost last piece is the bridge. <laughs> Notice it takes a lot of people to push a lightweight bridge in. And then we lash the bridge in place. Our last pieces to go in are the two tables and they're lashed up against everything making it a solid stow. And last, but not least, is restowing the trailer out of my driveway and clear of the circle. Well, that completes the loading of the trailer and a couple of the guys brought trains. So let's go run some trains.
Work's all done for the day. Trailer's all reloaded and ready for our next show. I think it's been a good day. I hope you all like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you down the rails. God bless.